afternoon guys it's sunday and i'm away out in the type r i need to go get fuel for it and i also need to pick up some supplies for food tonight because i'm cooking my supper i'm cooking my supper i am cooking my supper that is a correct observation i'm cooking my husband's supper tonight and i want to make him spag ball so i need to go out and get the supplies to do that and i can't get them by being in the house also i'm kind of freaking out about leaving the house i have anxiety and anytime i have to leave the house by myself i get like really freaked out and i just end up not doing it a couple weekends ago my husband went away with um, his friend for uh, his friend stag do i got home on the friday night and i locked my front door and i didn't unlock my front door again until sunday afternoon when my husband came home like i literally just locked myself in for a few days because i just couldn't bring myself to leave the house because i'm scared too and i know that sounds daft to people that don't have anxiety and don't really understand it and get it they're like what are you afraid of but those of you who do have anxiety are totally going to understand where i'm coming from i think i have slight agoraphobia as well like i genuinely will not leave the house by myself unless i really really have to also my hair is a mess right now because i need to wash it but i don't have time to wash it just now so i've just like bunged it up in this messy bun like look at this what what is this like i really don't have time to wash my hair right now so this is just gonna have to do so if you're wondering why my hair is a mess and have i even checked myself i have i know it's a mess and this is why of course you probably think i'm being super chatty but this is just one of my stall tactics so that i don't have to leave the house because i'm scared finally made out the house but I'm now worried that I haven't checked that all the electrics are off or done my door handle clicking thing enough times like OCD and anxiety seem to be friends and they come hand in hand and when my anxiety like ramps up so does the OCD and because I had the camera in my hand and I was filming I didn't do my normal checks before leaving so now I'm really like nervous about that but See, most people who don't suffer this, if they need to go somewhere, they just go. They take it for granted, they just go. Like, they check, everything's fine, they lock the door and they leave. But for somebody that has anxiety and OCD and agoraphobia and, like, a bunch of all these other annoying things, I can't just go. So it takes me longer to get to where I'm going because... I have all these checks that I have to do and I put it off for as long as possible. So my neighbour was at the door while I was vlogging here and I got out of the car to go see what they were wanting and now I can't remember where I was up to. But yeah, let's, let's go get fuel for the car and let's go get food so that I have food to cook when Des gets home. So I went to the fuel station and I got fuel for the car and I got the more expensive fuel. I got the 97 octane instead of the 95. I'm not sure if it was like, I think it might have been Shell fuel that I put in. It wasn't V-Power. Um, but I think it might have been Shell fuel and it was 97 octane stuff that I put in there. And I wanted to see if that would make any difference to the car with it being a more performance sports car compared to a Fiat 500 diesel um obviously you wouldn't put 97 octane petrol in a diesel just want to clarify that differences that i've noticed so far is just that the car runs a lot smoother on the more expensive fuel it didn't drive unsmoothly before but it just feels like it's smoother now that the 97 octane's in there so yeah in terms of performance, I don't know if I've really noticed a difference, um, but yeah, 
so that's that so i'm just waiting to the supermarket now to get some supplies i need to get like basically everything i need spaghetti i need mince i need onions i need spaghetti bolognese sauce i need garlic should probably pick up some stock cubes just to be on the safe side i pretty much need everything and i could probably pick up some garlic bread too because i love some garlic bread i love garlic bread so that's what i'm waiting to do just now and then i'll be back so i bought all the supplies for spaghetti bolognese and i made it and i was pretty disappointed i don't know what i've done this time that's different but it was not my usual spaghetti bolognese it didn't taste nice i didn't think so des liked it but i didn't like it and i'm a bit disappointed i would like a calorie refund please because that was not enjoyable also my brother bought me this hoodie last christmas because and i quote i've never seen you in a hoodie before and i quite like it surprised actually that my brother has such good taste in women's clothing being a dude but he does and this is very much my style and i do like it it says new york on it and like i said i got it last christmas and that was just when i come back from new york so it's kind of cool that the hoodie said new york on it and uh so here you go bro if you're watching this is your sister in a hoodie don't know if I pull it off or not, but. Do you ever just feel like really lost in life? Like you don't know where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing, what your purpose is. Sometimes you think you've got things figured out finally and then it turns out that you don't know anything at all. And, and then you've got your dreams that you want to follow and it feels like there's a million obstacles in the way. And some of those obstacles is just the fact that you, basically. Sometimes you are the obstacle. Because you don't believe in yourself, because of lies that people have told you, because you don't have the confidence. Sometimes you just don't even know where to start, like, to follow your dreams. And sometimes my mind, because I'm an overthinker, just put so much like things in the way so it's like oh but what if this and then what if that and have you considered this and have you sorted out that and well what about this and what about that and you end up just thinking yourself out of it and then you're miserable because you can't do the thing <clears throat> you can't do the thing that you want to do because you've talked yourself out of it with all these reasons that do seem logical and fair but I don't know and then you see other people like doing your dream and you're like not jealous in a bad way like you you aren't jealous of them in in a negative way but you're just like jealous and oh man like I wish that was me they're living the life I want to live but then you're not doing anything to live that life because you don't believe in yourself or sometimes you just don't feel like you can make it fit with your life. Sometimes you don't have the money to follow your dreams. That's the worst. I've had this like growing up like for years. I'm just like I'm not where I want to be in life at this stage. I wanted to be further along than I am and then I get like really frustrated with myself. And you know, like, I had dreams when I was a kid, but they weren't, um, like, safe dreams. They weren't things that were likely to happen, sort of thing. I'm explaining that well. I don't know. And so I just decided to play it safe because it had kind of been ingrained in me from a young age that it's important to play it safe. And so I did and I got like a normal job and I was like okay I'll get a normal job and I'll join like I'll climb the career ladder and that never really worked out for me. Um, here I am at 30 and I've actually gone back the way and not like in a looking down my nose at it kind of way. Um, not like that at all but just in a like this isn't where I was wanting to be at this point in my life. Like I started off at the bottom and then I worked my way up, 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 up. And then I ended up having to like take a step back. And although it's 
kind of a career I like. It's not my dream career and it's not what I want to do with my life and it's not who I am. It's just a safe option. And I just feel like I have missed out on and lost out on so much. And I've like, I sacrificed so much to have a safe career and it took everything from me and it never made me happy. The only positive thing I can say about that is that I've been able to pay the bills every month. But I've not been happy, I've not been fulfilled. I know I'm not doing what I want to do. I'm not living my dream. And yeah, it gets to me. There are a lot of times where it just, it really, it plays on my mind and it bothers me. But then I don't have the financial freedom to go live my dream. I wouldn't even know the first place to start to try and live my dream. I wouldn't know who to contact and I feel like that the thing that I want to do there are so many talented people out there doing that and it's like you have to be really amazing to stand out I think I don't think I'm amazing and then a lot of that has to do with me not believing in myself because of lies I was told when I was a kid and how I was put down as a kid and as an adult I'm starting to realize that they are lies and I need to believe in myself and I'm doing things to improve but it's a long journey it's taken a long time to get here and I think I've still got a long way to go and it's so difficult to chase a dream when you don't feel like you're good enough for it and it's so not difficult to feel good enough for it when you've been told for most of your life that you're not it's just it's hard it's like having to realize lies that were spoken to you having to not listen to them and having to learn to believe in yourself and i think if you believe in yourself then you're unstoppable it doesn't matter what anybody says to you if you believe in yourself and you believe in your ability which is kind of the same thing you will chase that dream with like a passion but because I don't believe in myself, it's like, how can I expect anybody else to believe in me if I don't even believe in me? So that's kind of like what I'm dealing with and that just bothers me. And then the more that I just find myself unfulfilled in the safe job, and the more I realise I'm not getting any younger, the more I feel like I'm running out of time. I just feel lost. And I think I feel lost because I'm not doing what I know I should be doing. But I don't think that I have the talent, the skill, or I don't think I'm good enough. And I mean, like, I don't think I'm good enough in terms of skill, but also, I guess, just believing in myself and thinking that I deserve it and that I'm worthy of it. I don't think I'm good enough as well. And I don't know. Sometimes the biggest obstacle in our lives to achieving our dream is ourselves. And I can recognise that and I'm having to work through that and yeah that's a process that is gonna take some time to work through but I'm working on it. It's something you won't know about me is I love to sing and I write my own songs but I'm just so shy about singing in front of other people because of something that a family member told me when I was younger and I believed it and like it really did have a massive impact. I used to like sing all the time from the moment I could like vocalize I was singing and I used to go to the supermarket and I would just like find an empty vegetable crate or something turn it upside down stand on it I had a toy microphone that my mum bought me and I just sing away into it in the shop in front of everybody and I just didn't care like that people were watching. I wanted people to watch because I was like, look at me, I'm fantastic, I'm brilliant, like listen to me. And uh, that was my passion, that was what I loved doing. And then a family member just told me, I basically, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what they said, but they just basically said that I couldn't sing at all. And I was like, what? And every time I sang, they passed comment on how bad it sounded. And it got to the point where, like, after that I was just scared to sing in front of people. And then my mum would be like, why aren't you singing anymore? Like, you love to sing, you sing so beautifully. And I'd be like, she lied to me. My mum lied. 
And I wasn't mad because I was like, oh, she's just being kind or trying to be kind and not hurt my feelings. But this other person was telling the truth and I actually can't sing and I was just so embarrassed. And then, you know, when you watch the X Factor auditions and somebody comes on and they really aren't blessed in that area, but they so strongly believe that they do, that they are. And to everybody else listening, you're like, no, you need to do some work on that. But to them, they sound amazing. And I'm so worried that that would be me, that I would sing and then in my mind think I'm amazing. While everybody else is like, oh, please don't. And that's because of that family member that basically was like, oh, please don't. You can't sing. You're terrible. And then everybody else around me was like, oh, my gosh, you can sing. So I was like, I can't trust that anymore. And that just like really did make a massive impact and I just stopped singing for ages in front of people and even to this day like if Des goes out of the house I'll then use that time to practice singing but if Des comes in like if he's out and I'm practicing singing and then he comes in I get angry because I'm so humiliated that he has heard me because I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna sound awful he's gonna think I sound awful and I just get like really embarrassed about it and it's annoying because I write my own songs and I have songs that I want to get out there like I am an artist even though I don't do anything about it like I am still an artist and I want my art that I produce to be heard but I need to believe in myself for a start and then the other thing is I don't actually play a musical instrument so I can't put music to my songs and then I'm like okay I'll get a musician to do it but obviously you have to pay them and clearly like definitely they need to be paid for their job but I've just not been in a position to be able to do that and then this year I was supposed to do that in fact I was supposed to do it last year it never worked I was supposed to do it this year so far it's not worked and it's just frustrating and then of course even if I do get a musician to do music for me um, and I can like afford to do that I then have to sing in front of another person and then like do you know what I mean like this is so frustrating and I was watching X Factor the other night and like I saw all these artists just going and singing and it just made me feel like what are you doing with your life cat like why are you wasting your life and there was one man that was on there and I think he was 37 and he said that he like it had been 17 years since he's last auditioned and they were like why is it taking you to this point in your life to do something about this and honestly I was like Kat why is it taking you like you're 30 you're seven years younger than this guy why is it taking you to this point in your life and you've still done nothing about it and it's something that you love and you're passionate about and I just honestly feel like a bit of a failure and I'm angry with myself because a lot of this is with myself and my self-belief but then again like I say how can you expect anybody else to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself like you have to work on that first when you believe in yourself that you are unstoppable so that's where I need to get to and I just have some crap to work out to get to that stage and yeah sometimes we are our own biggest problem but that's kind of like where I'm at right now and I just kind of wanted to have a yap about it because it was on my mind and I just wanted to share what's on my mind. I have like 10 minutes max before I need to be leaving for work. I'm almost done my makeup. Every time I do my foundation in the morning this is the back of my hand and this stuff does not come off easy. <laughs>
We're just back from Frankie and Benny's and the food was really, really good, but I am super full now. Like, I feel like I need to be rolled around everywhere because I am so full. And I also have a banging headache. I need the bathroom and I'm cold. But those things aside, I'm absolutely awesome. I'm actually really in the mood to watch some Coronation Street. I'm a bit behind and I've got a few episodes on the planner so I'm going to go and do that. 